Okay, so we are back, and this is the second draw of the Viva Las Vegas Superstar Roulette draw, the women's draw. But you know the best part about it? Mickey's not even here. Actually, where is Mickey, anyway? Who knows? Who cares? Let's get to the women's draw already before he shows up. Well, you're certainly eager, aren't you? Well, yes, this is the second draw, the women's draw of the Superstar Roulette Wheel, and, well, here's how it works. The second Roulette Wheel will be filled with the names of new CXWA female superstars. The names drawn will determine which number they have on the Roulette Wheel, as we as we was last time from 0 to 36, and, once again, we are using a single zero wheel, so there is no double zero on the wheel. Now, we've highlighted this next section because it's the only part that's different from the first wheel. Because the women's division is obviously smaller than the men's division, there are a few differences. Each woman is guaranteed at least two spots on the wheel. So their name will actually be twice on the wheel for those two spots. This first spin will have their names twice, as I just said. After the first spin, we will restart the wheel with the names reappearing. That means some women could get possibly three spots, even as many as four. By the end of this, we will have a full table of new CXWI female superstars. Remember, as we just said, they are guaranteed at least two slots on this table. They could get three if they're lucky. Maybe if they're really lucky, they could end up with four spaces on the wheel. It's all going to be up to the spin of the wheel. In this case, the new CXWI roulette number allocator. As you can see, it is filled with the names of the females of new CXWI. It has them twice on this wheel, and we're already underway. This spot's building will occupy the zero position on the roulette wheel. Get my foot up there. Starting to slow down now. Just going past Queen Woka. I haven't seen this woman yet since the start of new CXWI, but Nido Queen will take position zero on the wheel. If we need to select a female participant who spin the wheel and it lands on the zero, that will be Nido Queen who will take, who will be the selected opponents. Already now the spin for the number one space on the roulette wheel. Hey, I know you're going to see her as quite a bit. Not often. And quite often I end up regretting it. Aqua! Saw her pick up a good win in Germany, teaming up with Kitana. After Teddy Long came out and made a tag team match player. Please don't ever do impersonations of Teddy Long again. Well, there's nothing wrong with having a little bit of fun, is there? Nothing wrong with fun at all, just that was a terrible impersonation of me. And I think even you know that. We are now starting to slow down for the number two position. And well, just talking about Aqua. Oh, nothing stays there. Her rival, Ari Quinn. One of CXWI's many psychos. And that's putting it politely. I go as far to say Psycho doesn't even describe her in the slightest. Well, what word would you use then? There are words that describe Harley Quinn's lunacy. Anyway, so far Nita Queen, Aqua and Harley Quinn have got their first position on the wheel. And this is going to be... Just going over for the Hells Angel Biker, Betty K. Well, the wife, supposedly, of a Hells Angel Biker. Betty K has only had one match since her debut in New CXW. I didn't go too well for her. Hopefully, if her number is drawn on a wheel, she'll have some better luck. Oh, we continue with this. Uh, Spin of the wheel. We 
sure they're gonna be for this one. Already receives a good name, Strong. Uh, or it might be. Nope. Just going past for Aqua, getting her second number on the wheel. So she already has number one and number four as her two numbers. So that actually means that Aqua is the first person to be completely off of the wheel. And I was not going to be on that now until we redo this bit for possible third and fourth positions on the wheel, that is. So Aqua is guaranteed at least position one and four on the roulette wheel. She could get another one later on, but we'll have to wait and see what happens. Number five is Melina. Melina outscores to settle with Kitana. Of course, the very need to mention about the issues those two have. Escalated here in CXWI. They're really not waiting for us with these spins, are they? They're going straight for it. Alright, number six on the roulette wheel. I forgot a number until it hits and you end up losing 50 pound. Hang on, didn't you in the previous video preach you were a responsible gambler? I got arrogant, okay? Anyway, Faith Codders will have position number six on the wheel. Well, up next is one of your favourites, Elliot. Yes, it is. Number seven position. Yep. Lucky number seven. Here we go. Starting to slow down a little bit now. Just a little bit more now, we're going to find out who it is. And... Oh my god! It's Faith again! Faith Connors has position 6 and 7 on the roulette wheel. She's right next to herself on this table. But don't forget, that doesn't really mean that much, because 6 and 7 are not next to each other on an actual roulette wheel. Oh yes, I haven't forgotten that. Anyway, spin for number 8 on the roulette wheel now. Just looking at all these so far, Corin hasn't got a space yet. Zayna hasn't got a space yet. We won't go. Uh, the new women's champion, Alyssa Stanbridge, hasn't got a space yet. Oh, here we go. And just as I say her name, it's Queen Woka. Queen Woker, a individual that we really haven't seen in a while. We know she's still active on the roster. But we haven't actually seen her for a very long time. Well, if number eight comes up on the rear that wheel, we're going to see her again. Here we go with the next spin. Same really with Nido Queen. We haven't seen her in a very long time. So Corin, uh, Kitana. Yet to get a space. Zayna yet to get a space. And this one. I may just be. It is one of the people we just mentioned. One of the people you just mentioned. Kitana. So Kitana. On the winning side in Germany. Gets her first space on the wheel. And it's number nine. Now entering the. Yeah, we're now into the <laughs> double figures. Are you alright there, Guitar? Yeah, I got really tongue tied there. So, yeah, we're now for the number 10 slot, and. I'm still wondering where the fuck Mickey is. Screw Mickey, we're going through his perfect five. There's less clubs all around, and we're going through his perfect five, just you and I. Okay, fine, I know you're happy not him not to be here, and oh dear Christ! It is Kitana again! Oh, Fucking That's the second time now that somebody has came up two times in a row. Faith Connors just a few moments ago with six and seven, and now Kitana with nine and ten. But as you said earlier, it's, they're not next to each other on an actual roulette wheel, so. Yeah, 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 I remember that. But still, we're seeing their uh, names right next to each other on the wheel. Faith Connors followed by Faith Connors, Kitana followed by Kitana. Just a little bit weird. Anyway, our next spin of the wheel 
Do you need like a glass of water or something, Grap? No, 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 I'll be fine. Anyway, number 11 is the new CXWI Women's Champion. It is Alyssa Stanbridge. Alyssa, very impressive showing in Germany. Picking up the pinball over Zeno, the of course it was a shame about what happened afterwards. Being attacked by Mewtwo. Absolutely heinous actions by Mewtwo, but in the end he kind of got what he deserved at the hands of Lester Barkley. Must have been I'm somewhat amazed that Mewtwo got pulled by a replica belt. Yeah, there's a part of me that actually is amazed at that as well. Anyway, number 12. We're a third of the way, and it is Queen Woker to get her second position on the wheel. Queen Woker now has her two numbers. Eight and twelve. And remember, of course, she could get a third number if she's drawn after the. <coughs> oh my! Oh my! Oh my Rock, are you sure you're okay? Oh my! <laughs> Don't even really know what's going on with me right now. I'm fine this morning. Well, you may have been fine this morning, but you certainly don't sound fine right now. Let me tell you. Anyway. And it's the Psycho, Yandere-chan! How appropriate she gets that number! She ends up with the number 13 slot on the roulette wheel! That's her first number as well! Of course we will be seeing Yandere-chan in Dubai team up with you two to take on Alyssa Stanbridge and Lester Barkley. That should be a very interesting tag team match. So number 14 is next. Corin is still yet to actually get drawn in this thing, as is Zayna. Well, maybe they'll get the draw on this one. We don't know until the wheel stops. Wait, I just stated the fucking obvious there. Ah, it just goes past her for Betty K again. So Betty K now has her two numbers, 3 and 14. Nice to see if Betty K can prove some of her doubters wrong and there's a lot of people vocal about her in the back saying she's she's not exactly pulled her weight in the time she's been here. What do you mean by that, Rock? A lot of those in the back are saying that she's being very demanding for somebody of her status. Well, she is a biker girl, so what do you expect? Anyway, the wheel now starting to slow down. Number 15. It stays there. It's the former women's champion, Zayna. Zayna, of course, the one who took the ball in the triple threat match, losing her title. Number 15 is the first stage she'll take up on the roulette wheel. We're almost at the end of this first half. Still, we are yet to see Corin actually take a space. At least I believe we haven't seen Corin take a space. And I think we have. I was in a guess, I have just noticed. Anyway, it's another spot for Melina. So Melina now has her two spots. Could get a third if she's lucky. She could even get a fourth if she's lucky. Another one of my favourites coming up now. 17. Still we haven't seen Corin or you know Gasai get a number yet. Let's see if this is theirs for the taking. Well it is starting to slow down, doesn't look like doesn't look like Corin's gonna get it. It might be you know Gasai. It is Yunogasai! So finally, Yunogasai takes a spot on the roulette wheel and it's one of my lucky ones, 17. Alright, so next will be number 18. Maybe how much smaller this wheel is with fewer people on it. But remember, once everyone has got at least two spaces on the wheel, 
we will restart the entire wheel. Four lucky third spots, or possibly even four, if that number comes up again. And it looks like... I think it just went over it did, it's Nita Queen. So Nita Queen now has her two spaces on the wheel, number zero and number 18. We're going to go to a quick commercial break, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll be back with the second half of this in just a moment. Okay, people, we are back. And we're now on to the other side of the table for slot number 19. Look at it all in so far. I think it's Corin and Amy Rose who are yet to receive the, a number. Oh, that may just... Yep, it looks like it. Amy Rose gets her first number on the wheel. And it's number 19. So that just leaves Corin yet to get a number. She's guaranteed two, as we discussed earlier. She could get three. She could be uber lucky and get four. It all depends on what happens now with these. Well, first of all, we have to finish these sets of spins of the wheel. And then once, I, once everything's done on here, we will reset the whole wheel. For a few more spins just to fill up the rest of the spaces on the actual roulette wheel. Oh, and just as we were saying about Corin. There you go. He finally gets a number on the wheel. And it is 20. So now that means everyone's got at least one. Amy and Corin are due at least one more. And everyone else that is still on this first set of the wheel is still due one more. One more position on the wheel, and we're already spinning for 21. Magic number if you're playing blackjack. But we're not playing blackjack. 
of all the casino games out there, that's the one I love the most, Blackjack. Then again, most people probably know that already. Maybe because you don't shut up about it. You know Gassai! We'll take... The magic number 21. So you know Gassai now has her two numbers. I guarantee two numbers, 17 and 21. Then towards the end of this first wheel, and of course we'll go to the second and we'll explain more about that when it comes along. If anything isn't too clear now. We only have six more people on this first set. And of course we will reset the wheel for the remaining spins. This is number 22. And... Uh, well, looks like it's going to be Amy Rose again. So 19... And 22... Amy Rose. We are getting closer and closer towards the end of these first spins. It will be once um, once we have drawn number 27, that is when the whole reset will happen. And for the meantime, these five are still left to receive a second number. Unless there's Aina, Yandere Chan, Harley Quinn, and Corin. This could be a lucky number for one of these women. And this one's gonna be Alyssa! The new women's champion! The new women's champion picks up her second number on the wheel. So she has 11 and 23. If that number gets drawn on the roulette wheel, then that means she will be competing. And now we're already going for 24 now! Really isn't... Really isn't much to say now, it's just a matter of seeing who gets drawn where. And it looks like... Is it going to stay on Yandere? No it isn't! Harley Quinn! So Harley Quinn... So you think 24? Also has number two at her disposal as well. And we're already on for the next spin. Now we win. There we go. Well, they were impatient, weren't they? Corin, Zena, Yandere Chan. Looks like it's going to be Yandere Chan. Yandere Chan, who. As we mentioned earlier, already has a spot in our World Tour show in Dubai. We'll be teaming up with you to take on Lester and Alyssa. And again, then, we're not hesitating to go in for the spins right now. Can we drop back? There we go. Number 26 will be the side on this spin. Either Zayn or Corin. And it looks like we're going over for Corin. Is it gonna? Yes, it does. So Corin has number 26, and that does mean that Zayna will have number 27 on the roulette wheel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while this uh, spin's going on, I'm just gonna explain what's gonna happen next. We are gonna reset this, um, we're gonna reset the CXW, the new CXW roulette number allocator with all the names of the all the names of the female superstars twice again on the roulette wheel this will allow them yeah you can see it just behind that they will now have a chance all of these women on here will have a chance to get a third possibly even a fourth space on the roulette wheel it is all down to luck that was all just in case none of you understood it when we said it at the beginning. This was... I hope it explains that now we see it, we're going along. And the next spin... Someone is about to get a lucky third number. And possibly down the line they could get a lucky fourth number. Well, we're now going to see what happens. We're now starting to slide. First lucky woman... is Melina. 
So she has number 28 as well as number 16. And number 5. So if Melina's name comes up again, she will have four numbers on the roulette wheel. Giving bigger odds, but her name will be chosen. If she's already got bigger odds, then everyone else right now until we find out who gets this one. And it is a third position for Amy Rose. Well, she was late to come up onto the wheel, but she's now on there three times. 19, 22, and now 29. Very good there for Amy. She may get a fourth one. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. And already we're spinning now for number 30. This could be another... This could be another third position or a lucky fourth for Melina or Amy. I'll just hold tight and see what happens. And... Well, it's not going to be a lucky fourth for Amy, but it is for Betty K. She now has a third position on the wheel. 3, 14, and now 30, and we're already going for another spin. Uh, production people, that's your cue to cut back to the wheel. There we go. So, who is it going to be this time? Or well, maybe Betty K again? Oh no, it just goes past her. It's... Oh, I it just went past Aqua! Or Alyssa Stanbridge! To get a third place on the wheel! 31... 23... And 11... For the women's champion! So now 32... On a position right next to the zero position! That is of course occupied by Nido Queen and... I know that should be kind of funny if Nido Queen got this one! I guess it would be, kind of. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, are you me. actually... You fucking jinxed it, Elliot. Oh, my fucking Nido God. Queen has number 32 on the wheel. So, Nido Queen has 32. She also has 18. And she has zero. 32 and zero are right next to each other on a single zero wheel. So she's got two spots right next to each other. We're now going for 33. They've already started without us again. Are we going to see a fourth position? Oh, yeah, we're not. But it's a third one for you know Gassai. Another one picking up a third position. You know Gassai now occupies 33, 21, and 17. We've only got three more slots to fill. 34, 35, and 36. We yet to see anyone get a fourth one. May just be on this one though. Let's find out. It's... Oh, it may be Alyssa! Oh! Just past her! For Zayna! That was a close one. Zayna has 34. Two more positions yet to go, 35 and 36. And we're almost done with this draw. Still waiting to see if one of the women that has received a third position will get a fourth. Well, we are just about to find out. And it's... It's Queen Woka who gets herself a third position on the wheel! Queen Woka gets a third position, one more space to allocate. Number 36. This is it, the last number of this draw. Last, last chance to see if someone will get a fourth position. Going round. Well, it doesn't look like we will. Instead, it's Kitana. 
that will get a third position on the wheel. And well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the complete women's draw. Very lucky for the women with three positions. As for the ones with two, they must have to hope locks on their side. We'll see you for the next draw, the matchup draw. I'm Ellie Bob One. I'm not Qatar. I didn't miss anything, did I? Only the whole draw. <laughs>